Good on viewers, I'm going to try and tear this fuel pump down carefully. It's pretty, that's quite a well made little fuel pump. Very well made. Let's go finish bending off this, uh, the crimp, straighten out the, uh, there it's crimped on. And I should be able to pull his bottom off. Okay, if you want to got the end that side off, fuel goes drawn up in there around his gap and goes in there. There's a little breather hole there. Gets poured in through here. That's a little impeller. It swishes it into that hole down there. And it's got little crimps here which hold um, this assembly down. If I can get my tripod set up for starters and I'll be able to uh, use two ends. There you go. Interesting. Okay, I've got my redneck tripod here. Let's see if I can pull this apart on camera like this. I'm not sure how this is a... Uh... And that may not come out. But under there, as I've shown in the previous uh, tear down of the uh, Commodore fuel pump, there'll be a star-shaped um, wheel with a little circle, um, circular cylindrical veins that fling outwards. And that will just push the fuel, like, kind of like a rotary compressor. So this is a type of, this is a type of rotary pump, this is. I'm not sure how to put this on a path there. That does not seem to go all the way. So maybe there's a little lip underneath there that holds this here in. So, I bet, uh, yeah, the um, reason why it was working, I reckon the uh, rotors are probably worn out. There'll be a bit of uh, tolerance in there and... The excess gap in that rotor, in that vein, is um, why this uh, fuel pump has lost pressure. I should set the power supply up and power it up. It's been blown and dried out for a bit to see how it sounds. It doesn't sound too noisy. Okay, if you was doing a quick test of this little motor, with the little uh, primary impeller here in place, the little plastic blade, that's so it actually flings the fuel out like a fan and flings it outwards and feeds it directly into the uh, intake to the main pump unit itself. So we'll connect that, hold that down, finger over it in case this flies off. You feel some air blowing off it like a fan. Tiny bit of actual play in it, not much. Get this fan blade off. Okay, viewers, I'll have to draw that out to get this uh, thing apart. I don't want to really want to destroy it too much. But that's just the um, end cap. It's just the motor. The armature's in there, and the brushes are here to um, straight through top, not through the sides, like a normal motor. It's like the previous fuel pump, mechanically how it's set up, that I've autopsied. There's a little valve in there. That's the outlet, and there's a little valve in there. There's yeah, so I think the dead spots. The brushes are in there. The fuel just goes through there, and that's the actual pump itself. Between that, so that, this, and this is the actual pump unit itself. So this is just worn out. So if we replace this, put this pump back together, this pump will be rebuilt. But the uh, Commodore one was a um, a lot better built than this. It's got a good value motor on this one, but a crappy pump. So that's the impeller there. So there's probably a bit too much gap between um, either side of that. It looks to be uh, more wear on this side than this side. Set up like that, you can see one side seems to be have a seems to be uh, narrower. Not by much though. Can't feel much wear, but there's a bit of um, wear on that. You feel there, it's like half a mil dif difference of thickness on both sides. So about a millimetre altogether of wear in that, and that's weakened the pump some pressure output. Interesting. It's quite a simple fuel pump, this one. You can see the gap there, gets forced through there. Fuel goes through there in that small gap down that hole through the motor and out there. Quite simple.
There you go. It's quite a simple little fuel pump. It's good, quite a good little motor on that, so that'd be enough for now, viewers. Thanks for watching.